Hello and welcome to another episode of my playthrough here of Space Engineers. As the gopher... Oh god, she's heavy right now. We have ripped all of the goodies out of this base. And I have just been spending some of the time overnight just mining from nearby nodes. We got some magnesium and some iron. Just stockpiling a bit extra because you never know. You can always use a bit more resources. And it's so nice just flying the gopher around. It makes life so easy. Once you're all docked in like this, you just go 987. Boom. And you're all docked up. You can pop into your inventories. Take a look at the gopher. Take a look at the rover's car cargo. And just transfer all that stuff over. We're getting a little bit of stone. I probably should put an ejector on the gopher somewhere to eject the stone that we don't need. But it's not necessary, considering the fact that, you know, we can always use the extra bit of resources from this stone. But we did get ice. And we actually uh, filled up all of our O2H2 generators to the brim. And we have 12,000 left over. And those were from... I have to grab my spectator camera, wherever I put it. They were from... Uh, what are the, these things? These things had a O2H2 generator on them that was full of ice. As well as, so there's one and two there full of ice. They were like 15,000 ish each. Uh, how much does mine carry? Uh, 10,000 something. Yeah, they had something like that. 10,000 ish each. And then, or is it the wreck of a, uh, a vehicle here that's half buried in the sand had an H2O2 as well. So it was like 30,000 something ice in this camp which is nice it fills up all my generators we ran the generators for a little bit here and got the mastodon batteries pretty much topped off and we're pretty much ready to get out of here the sun is coming up and i believe it is time to just GTFO. Um, if I get out of the spectator camera and get out of driving the gopher there, I think we're good. We are off towards the Plateau Oasis. Now, I'm going to try to get as much progress as I can done driving today because we haven't driven. We haven't uh, made much just straightforward progress in a little while here. We've been uh, faffing about and building stuff and doing turrets and such. So I believe if we just get to driving, it will be a good day. And also I got to turn my rotor turret strip back on. They were uh, wanting to shoot the rest of the base even after I had disabled the defenses. So yeah, we needed to turn those off so they didn't eat the rest of the base while I was uh, just salvaging them. There's plenty of magnesium here, plenty of iron, so we should have enough uh, magnesium to rebuild some of the ammo we used, because we are actually... I thought we had a lot of it, but these these Gatling guns, they spit. Like, they spit incredible quantities of bullets, so that's not a good thing, as... We're going to run out of ammo real fast with, like, firing off all these rounds. Uh, this is iron, silicon, and cobalt, and nickel. Okay, we can just mark this all down as one. That is, like, a super claim here. Uh, cobalt, silicon, nickel, and then I can just add iron to that. And iron. Oh, wow, I don't even have enough room. I don't have enough characters. Uh... FE. There we go. I don't know. Uh, we'll do... Let's, let's get rid of cobalt. Iron. 
CO Nickel Silicon. I know what cobalt is. There we go. Yeah, like, uh, I can't remember how much we had uh, prior to this, but we had like a hundred something here. And then we did that, like, couple fights. Shooting down a couple drones and shooting up this base. And now we're down to like 33 boxes. So, yeah. We're just eating rounds. Like, absolutely crazy here. Uh, which is fine. That's good. But uh, we're going to need more magnesium. <laughs> Hence why I was getting some mining of that done. Uh, we also should pop into our assembler and uh, make as much of this as we can. Preferably another couple hundred boxes of it. As I have no idea how much magnesium powder we have. Uh, magnesium powder. We have the magnesium ore. We have 128 powder. And we are currently processing some of that here. So, hopefully make it, we can make a couple hundred more boxes. And I'm glad I got on my menu before I saw that. Uh... What? Is this like the Grand Canyon of this planet? Uh, okay. There's an iron node here. This is useful. In case we need to build our way across this thing. Holy crap. Wow, this thing is huge. That's what she said. Um, I, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Just I, I teed myself up perfectly for that. What? Is this a local thing or is this stretch forever? Now, I, I can't remember exactly, but I did specifically make parts of this route to go through such bullshit like this, so I'd have to force myself to engineer around it. And we're probably going to make another bridge. But I feel like we should make a better bridge <laughs> than the last one. Because the last one, we uh, made it flimsy. Uh, okay. Uh, remote control. Uh, let's go for the gopher. It's pretty good. Uh, 789 and take off this thing can be our little scout okay that goes to the horizon uh oh does it go to the horizon over there is that a turn or is that like uh let's see uh you're 600 something meters away we got five kilometer range on this thing. So let's go fly around a bit. Does this just keep on going? Oh yeah, it looks like it just keeps on going. Jeez, man. So here I was thinking I was gonna get a bunch of uh, progress done, but it turns out there is the planet was like, no. No, you're not. You're not going to get progress done today. <laughs> okay. I knew I was eventually going to have to cross something like this. And I have an idea and I have a plan. I am going to build a bridge. And I'm not going to do any sort of uh, regular bridge. I'm not going to place the blocks myself. Let's build a self-building bridge? Or let's have the Mastodon build it as it crosses the bridge. Ooh. Ain't that just funky. Okay. Ideas. Uh, first, I'm thirsty. So, first, water. And Character, I get rid of that. Don't need those bottles on me. I get the food and where's my water? 
Here's my water. Alright. So. Idea time. I will... Place a grid on the ground here. And put a projector on that. And I guess maybe build a battery on that grid? Or build a, a wind turbine just to get it the projector running? And project out a bridge. And then pipe up from the Mastodon. I don't know what would be the closest thing. Probably from there. Punch that through. Drop it down with a pipe in front. And then build... Um, two or three welders in front of each tire. And then as I drive forward, I slowly weld the bridge as I drive across. I, it's gonna be silly and I'm gonna love it. And so that way, the Mastodon is literally building the bridge underneath it as it drives out into the chasm. And so, we need a blueprint of a bunch of blocks in a row. Which can be done. Oh god, don't die. Okay, good. Didn't take any damage. Uh, I want to see how far this is. Oh, wow, this is a canyon. Oh, wow, this is a deep canyon. Oh, oh, oh if I fell down there, that's just the end. That's just like reset the series and start back at square one. Uh, I'm very happy that there is that iron node 500 meters away because I am most likely going to have to eat that entire iron node to get enough steel plates in order to build this bridge. Because I am not going to uh, rely on uh, like one HP just steel frames that aren't like armor that isn't built up like this stuff to uh, hold this entire thing up when I'm crossing a canyon of like instant death. The the canyon that I crossed before was more of like a ditch compared to this. Okay, so first things first is I need some materials here. Uh, I'm just going to make a wind turbine. Am I breaking my own rules by if I do a wind turbine on this thing with a projector? I'm just building a bridge, right? Didn't I just, I said I could, I could build bridges. Didn't I say that I was allowed to do that? I'm going to go with that because, I mean, there's no other way I can get across here. I need to build a bridge. And to do that, I need to build a, a grid. And it needs to have a projector. And therefore, it needs to be powered. So it's either build a battery or build a turbine. So whatever it is, I'm building something with power on here. Uh, you know... Based on where I popped into this, holy god, look at that canyon. Oh my god, it's crazy. I actually lucked into a decent spot for uh, crossing it. It's actually pretty close to the other side. And it's pretty straight, like flat here and flat here, so it's not some like weird craggy angle like that. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> oh, dear God, this canyon, though, it is ginormous. So, um, I forget my measurements again. It was like three and then like 11 and then three, three and then eight and three or whatever it is across. I'll just have to count that again. But we'll go over here in front of what will basically be this wheel. And we want gravity in line. Yes, please. And I'd like to position these nicely. Why does free alignment hit me so? Just gravity align, please. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta whack your uh, rotation buttons until gravity align is actually somewhat aligned to what you want. So if I place it there, then go back with it, that gives me a nice smooth uh, entrance. So three wide for a wheel, and then it is do, 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 do. 
Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it was eleven. It was eleven or eight. I always forgot there. So eleven wide, and then another three. So I'll just do that eleven right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then one, two, three. And that will be my bridge. Then I will bring this out a couple blocks here to get it out of the way. Plop my turbine. Why am I unable to place? Oh, it's probably not high enough. It probably doesn't like the, uh, the terrain near it. Yeah, that's it. Which will give power to this grid. Hopefully enough to place my projector right there. And that'll be enough to do that. Uh, although I might have to place like a, a control button or something on this uh, thing so I can access it. So I can... Uh, give it commands and load a blueprint in there as I'm going to have to make myself a blueprint of armor blocks to project out. Okay. So, while that's sitting there and being prepped, we need to prep the uh, conveyoring for our weldery bits. Uh, okay, two options. I can punch through the front of the ship and drop down. Or I bet I could punch in through the bottom here. Uh, which which and where does the... Because we have conveying where here. We could get it through the hydroponics bay. We could also just punch in through here right into the center and come up through the cargo port. So that would be... Dead center right there. Which I can't reach. Okay, Mastodon, it's time for you to uh to sit. We'll take all these wheels and lower them down so I can get access to that. Wheel. And we'll drop this height. Uh, to what? 0 0.5 is fine. And let's grab a lot of cargo. Uh, con conveyor stuff. Build planner. Oh, God. Uh. Ow. Ah, now I can access this stuff. Nice and close for me. Oh, uh, one off. Inventory full. There we go. And now, a tube, and then a turn, and half off we go. Ooh, do, 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 tube, tube. All the way to the front. And then we need to go in front of the wheels by a couple blocks. That should be good. And we'll junction here. And then we'll tube off to the side. And then we need to get the welders. And we'll have to adjust the height so that this works perfectly. Yes, 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 yes. We'll have to adjust the height there. But that hu the height that these are placed at should work once we adjust the, the suspension up. So I need this to come out a little bit further to... Ah, uh, what? Welder. One, two, three? Or I, I think I can just get away with two welders. Yeah, welder... There and there. Alright. So, 
now that all that is positioned, can I get access to something here? Oh, can I get access to that one? Yes, I can, just barely. Oh, no, it gets disconnected. Uh, wait, we gotta go up. <laughs> we gotta climb up. Ah. Uh, silly thing, not giving me access from below. Okay. Now these Mastodon wheels, we can slowly raise up. Until we're maxed out again. Excellent. Now we got the most clearance possible. But I still should be able to... Yep, I can build over the hop, which is perfect. <laughs> boom, boom. Ha <laughs> ha, perfection. We have self-building Mastodon. It will do its own bridge. Perfection. And that's all we need. We just need those uh, those two welders. They'll each go sort of down the joint. So on the on the bridge, there'll be the, the three in a row. One will be here. One will be between these two. They'll kind of, the two welders will kind of ride down the joint between the center and the side ones. And they'll weld them up nice and quick. All right. So I just need to do a little hippity hops here and get these all welded up. Uh, I should probably drop my drills so that I can access the cargo uh, from down here. But I will get those welded up. And also, I'll pop into creative for a second. Stretch out the, uh, uh, you know, it, it, just to make things easy. I need to make a blueprint that spans that. So I'll pop into creative. I'll build the bridge, blueprint it, destroy it, like delete it, and then pop out of creative. <laughs> so that way, because otherwise, uh, how else am I supposed to get the blueprint for how big that is? Besides, you know, just making a, uh, uh, a stick of, uh, like making a, a, a line of uh, uh, blocks and then, or I can do it that way. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll get a blueprint for that, and I'll build this stuff up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we've got the projector here, and I quickly stretched out... Where is it here? I just made this blueprint. Ah, here we go. Quickly stretched out lines in creative, then deleted them. Because if this was just the real world, I could just be like, dude, we're just going to place these on a blueprint and just manually make that. Right? So, there we go. There is our projector showing us... Stop clanging. And now we just need to pitch and roll and yaw this thing into position here. Uh, where the hell is this pointing? Okay, this thing sometimes has issues where if I leave the drills in the ground for too long, the whole thing jiggles around, and these drills brush up against this... Yeah, see right here? They're brushing up against. So... Uh, the drills have to go back up. Uh, first, the drilling pistons turn off the drills and then rescue them from themselves. Come on. Now you're going back up. You silly little things. It's just a voxel. Just go past it. Good little drills. <laughs> sometimes, man, sometimes they are nuts. Alright, so, if I pop into Spectator here, where I'll be able to properly see where these are going. Uh, is that what I want? Where is that? That is pointing 
that way and down. Okay, that's the right way up. Now I just need to turn it around. There we go. Right? Okay, but now it's the... I just need to flip it over. <laughs> it's just all these little things. Alright, that's good. That's a line now. I just need to slide it on over. And... Uh, ooh, that's it? It is seemingly aligned. I just need to pull it back one? It's a vertical offset, eh? Yeah, there we go. There we go. It has been projected. The two arms all the way across. It will get me where I need to go. Perfection. I can just leave that there. As my little bridge. With the last bits just being these last four tubes here. And then I can drive across, assuming I have enough uh, steel plate. Because steel plate. We are going to use all of the steel plate to do this. Oh god. So, how much steel plate do we have? We have 2,000. We're going to need more. Assembler, you can stop building conveyor parts. We got all of those. Build me a uh, good old 10,000 steel plate. Thank you. I have no idea if I have that much iron, but just make me steel plates. I probably don't. 28,000 iron there. And we need 69. Yeah, we don't have enough iron for that. But, at least the iron is being made. Uh, welders. We'd be the 456 here. On. Unpark. And now we need to align ourselves. Onto the bridge. God, baby. This is going to be frightening. <laughs> we literally don't have a bridge or in front of us, and we're going to just drive across. We're just going to assume that we're going to build the bridge fast enough as we drive. Um, of course, we'll go slow. <laughs> if, you, if you trusted your welders, you could just, like, literally drive here at, like, a good click of, you know, like, I don't know, five or ten meters a second and just roll across the bridge slowly as you, uh, as you constantly build them up. Uh, am I going to need to put down another... bit of welder? I wonder about the right side. The welders... aren't low enough. Because of the tire. Okay, we're getting on to thing here. It's only building up a portion of it, but it means it's not it's enough for my tire. So, we need to go to my wheels here. And we need to uh, slower the height offset until those welders start welding. Uh, we might just put these to zero and then take the front wheels and put them even lower. Because those guys are not starting to weld. The guys on my on my left are doing it, but it's ah, oh, it's these, it's this little ridge here that's causing issues. I gotta pop out, and I gotta manually uh, at least start those blocks for the first bit here. Otherwise, we're not going to. Uh, these these aren't going to come down enough. Oh, I need steel plate for this. To hit those in time. No, 
gonna go on the other side. These guys, yeah, these guys are low enough that I'll be able to, uh, right? No, shit. They're not accessible either. Come on, guys. Give me some steel plate. There we go. That stupid ridge there. It's all that thing's fault. I'll lay this out a little bit before the rover gets over that ridge and those things drop low enough that they can start welding. <laughs> this should be good. Right? Yeah. By the time we get to there, that should be welding. And if it isn't, we're pretty screwed. We can always just l lower all of the um, suspension all the way down. And then just crawl across this thing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, there's the suspension. There it's coming down. Now it's starting to build. Good. It's front suspension. Okay. Front wheels. We'll take back up to zero. And we should be good. To go. Oh my god, this is frightening. I gotta take this real slow. <laughs> we have no bridge in front of us. We are building the bridge as we drive. And here we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of forward motion, and then stop, let them weld, a little bit of forward motion. As we inch our way across this canyon, however, this is working. It looks like we actually need to raise our suspension a little bit, as... Those are clipping, it seems, and not welding. Are we good here? Yeah, this right side here isn't isn't welding. They're on. Why not? We need to just lower the front a little bit. There we go. Let's go minus one on the front. Oh, I wonder, are we out of steel plate already? Yeah, we're out of steel plate already. That's it? This is just gonna use so much steel plate because we're actually building them instead of uh, just having the like the frames there. Oh my god, this is going to literally eat all of my iron. Thankfully, there is that iron node there. Uh, so this is going to take me a very long time. We're obviously not going to get this done in this episode. And what we're going to have to do is leaving the Mastodon up here, slowly creeping along. We'll move forward weld some more, park. We'll have to take the gopher and fly off to that iron node 700 meters away. Grab that iron, bring it back here and get it processing and getting it turned into uh, steel plate. And this is just going to be a massive steel plate uh, production going on here. Kill up 50,000 of them. 
and uh, then go to the gopher. The episode started in control of the gopher, and now it's going to end in control of the gopher as we head off to that iron node, leaving the mastodon, beginning its bridge. But that this is going to take us a while <laughs> to, to, to build. So, yeah, maybe I'll do a live stream of the build, as that's going to, I, I foresee this taking several hours to get across, you know, running iron back and forth and uh, allowing the assembler to slowly build up as we just gather resources. So that is going to be it for now. We are going to gather this iron here and finish building the bridge. Thanks for watching. Got you out there, fellow space engineers.